Hey hi genius, welcome back to my channel for another video. I am Kalisha if you are new and I am a registered dental hygienist. I post dental hygiene related content here on YouTube every single Friday. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a dental hygienist too. You all ask for it and here I am. So as you can see by the title, I'll be walking you all through the dental sealant application process. Before we get going, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about what a dental sealant is and why I think they are effective both for children and adults. Brushing and flossing are the best ways to help prevent cavities, but it's impossible to get every nook and cranny clean on your teeth, especially those back teeth, your molars that you use to chew and chomp down on your food to be able to swallow better. Because of all the deep grooves and crevices on those molars, we recommend sealants as a safety net to help keep those teeth clean and cavity free. A sealant is a thin protective coating made of plastic material and other dental materials that adheres to the chewing surfaces of your back teeth. Sealants have been shown to reduce the risk of decay by nearly 80%. They are very important for children, but adults can benefit from them as well. And being transparent up until about two years ago, I used to only offer sealants to children. And you're probably guilty too. Children's first adult teeth erupt when they're about six years old and they have that tooth for the rest of their lives. So we always place sealants on those teeth as soon as they erupt to increase the longevity of those teeth. Same applies for adults. If they have unprotected grooves in their molars, why not apply sealant to protect the longevity of their teeth? So same benefit for a child and an adult. Not only does it protect their teeth, it also boosts your production as a dental hygienist. So highly recommend you start recommending sealants to not only children, but your adult patients as well. So now I wanna get into how dental sealants are applied. I'm gonna use a typo dunt just for a controlled environment so you all can see better. And then I'm gonna use an actual patient to show you how you have to control the tongue and, and the saliva in the mouth. So let's get right into the demonstration. All right, so before we actually get going in the mouth, I have just a fake setup going with my little um, type of dunt here to show you all how it looks up close in a dry environment. So here are the materials that I'm gonna need. Today, I'll be using profi a coarse profi paste instead of pumice to clean out the grooves using this here brush. Then you also want to have either dry angles, cotton rolls, or gauze to keep the environment dry the etch, which is blue, the sealant material, whichever one you use. You also want a micro brush or a cotton tip applicator to pat the area dry, remove any excess sealant material. You want the curing light to bond it and a piece of floss to make sure that you didn't get the material in between the contacts. And of course you want a mouth, a patient to do the sealants on. And right now I'll be using my friend Bill here. Um, and this little fake type of that to show you all in real time how it looks before we actually get in the mouth. All right, so beginning in a controlled environment, usually I begin by polishing the occlusal surfaces, but since there's no debris, no dirt, I'm just gonna act like I am, but I'll actually do it in the mouth in a second. Next, you wanna dry the tooth, which it's already dry. <laughs> You'll clean it and dry it. And again, because I'm in the mouth, I'd usually at this point place something to control the environment. I'll still do it. The tongue would be there and a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna place that and act like there's some liquid. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and etch the area. Let that sit for 20 to 30 seconds. You don't want any blue left. Then you want to dry it off. Once you dry it off in a real mouth, it will have a really chalky white appearance to let you know it is ready for the sealant material. Now that we have the material nice and the tooth nice and dry, we're going to go on in with the sealant material. Just in case we got any excess, I'm just gonna take this micro brush and kind of dampen it to soak up some of it in the areas where I flow too much. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go ahead and light cure. 
Now we wanna go in with an explorer and check, make sure all the grooves are sealed up nicely. Next, we wanna go in and make sure the contacts don't have any material in them that you're able to floss in and out of the contact or surrounding the whole tooth. Lastly, you'll check the bite with any, with articulating paper. Um, you just place it there, have the patient close, grind side to side, and when you open it, it will have any areas that may be high. So, so now that you've seen it in a controlled environment, let's go inside the mouth and see how it is managing the tongue, the saliva, and trying to keep the area dry. There you have it folks, the importance of a dental sealant as well as how to apply it. If this video helped you in any form or fashion, be sure to hit that like button. It encourages me to continue making content such as this and it's good for the algorithm. And while you're hitting that like button, you might as well go on over, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a video and you yourself can be a dental hygienist too. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye hygienist.